sixth grade, module one, lesson 19, classwork. Example one, the ratio of cups of blue paint to cups of red paint is one to two, which means for every cup of blue paint, there are two cups of red paint. In this case, the equation would be red equals two times blue, or R equals 2B, where B represents the amount of blue paint, and R represents the amount of red paint. Make a table of the values. So I'm going to start by labeling what we're going to put in the chart. So we're going to have cups of blue paint and cups of red paint. And it said for every one cup of blue paint, there are two cups of red paint. So if we had two cups of blue paint, there would be four cups of red paint. For three cups of blue paint, there would be six, blue, six cups of red paint. And if we had four cups of blue paint, there would be eight cups of blue paint or red paint. Number two. Mrs. Seiple is a librarian who really enjoys reading. She can read three-fourths of a book in one day. This relationship can be re represented by the equation days equals three-fourths books, which can be written as D equals three-fourths B, where B represents the number of books and D represents the number of days. So in our chart, we could say number of books and number of days. So if we have in would take one book would take three fourths of a day. So if, to read two books, if we were to multiply this by two, we would get six fourths or one and one half days. Three books would be nine fourths or two and one fourth days, and four books would be twelve fourths or three days. Exercises Brian and Shanice are both training for a bike race and want to compare who rides his or her bike at a faster rate. Both bikers use apps on their phones to record the time and distance of their bike rides. Brian's app keeps track of his route on a table, and Shanice's app represents, presents the information on a graph. The information is shown below. So we have Brian in a, in a chart and or this table, and Shanice's is on this graph. At what rate does each biker travel? Explain how you know how you arrived at your answer. Okay, so let's start with Brian. His information is in the table. So he has 00, zero and then 375 and 6150. So let's make a double line graph here. And what we want to know is in one hour, so hours, how many miles does he go? So in one hour, two hours, in three hours, we know he goes 75 miles. So if I were to divide that by three, 75 divided by three, that would be 25 miles in one hour and 50 miles in two hours. But we'll, So this is the information we really need to know. He goes 25 miles in one hour. And we can say, Brian, equals 25 miles per hour and you could it says explain how you know so I'm just going to draw an arrow to how I arrived at my answer bit on the double line graph you could explain what we did so the double line graph we split it into three equal parts and found out how much each part was worth so then Shanice we can look at her chart over here and we see that one hour takes is right there in the middle so that looks like 15 miles 
So Shanice goes 15 miles per hour. And we can say um, we found the point one fifteen, which represented fifteen miles in one hour. Part B. Shanice wants to win the bike race. Make a new graph to show the speed Shanice would have to ride her bike in order to beat Brian. So she needs to go anywhere faster than 25 miles per hour. So maybe 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 50, anything bigger than 25. So I'm going to make this, let's see, so we have one, two, three, four five hours and then I'm going to count by fives here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So in one hour, let's make her go 30 miles per hour. So then two hours, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So in two hours, she would have to be all the way up here at 60 miles per hour. So there's another, there's a graph that could show her going faster. You could maybe count by tens and make your graph a little bit more um, spread out, but that's one way that you could show her beating Brian. Number two, Braylon and Tice both work at a department store and are paid by the hour. The manager told the boys they both earn the same amount of money per hour, but Braylon and Tice do not agree. They each kept track of how much money they earned in order to determine if the manager was correct. Their data is shown below. Braylon makes, so M, the amount of money that he makes is 1050H where H represents the number of hours and M represents the amount of money he was paid. So he's making 1050 an hour. So we know that Braylon, we don't have to do much with that there, makes 1050 per hour. Now Tice, they don't tell us how much he makes in one hour. So that information is missing right here. That's what we need to figure out. But we know that in three hours, he makes $34.50, and in six hours, he makes $69. Let's make a double line graph. So again, we need to know one, two, and we know three hours is $34.50. So this is hours, money. So let's take $34.50 and divide it by three hours. So you can see how much he makes per hour. I'm gonna bring the decimal point straight up and then not worry about it again. So three goes into three one time. One times three is three. Get zero, bring down the four. Three goes into four one time. Bring down the five. Three goes into 15 five times is 15. Bring down this zero, three goes into zero, zero times, and we are finished. So Tice makes 11.50 per hour. Was the manager correct? Why or why not? So. The manager was not correct. Because Tice makes so Tice makes eleven fifty per hour and 
Bryson makes ten fifty, so Tice makes a dollar more. Then Braylon in one hour. Number three, Claire and Kate are entering a st cup stacking contest. Both girls have the same strategy. Stack the cups at a constant rate so that they do not slow down at the end of the race. When practicing, they keep track of their progress, which is shown below. So Claire, we can see on this graph that the number of stacked cups is listed here up the side and the number of seconds is right here. So let's say, see Claire, we can see that in one second, she stacks five cups. So she can stack five cups per second. Now Kate, they didn't give us a chart to look at, but they did give us a formula right here. So Kate, it says that the she C equals 4T, where T represents the amount of time in seconds, so this is time, and C represents the number of stacked cups. So the time is equal to 4T. So if, for example, C is equal to 4, if we had 1 second, that would be equal to 4 cups per second. So Kate may can stack 4 cups per second. And B, Kate notices that she is not stacking her cups fast enough. What would Kate's equation look like if she wanted to stack cups faster than Claire? So Kate wants to stack cups faster than Claire, so faster than five cups per second, and faster than that would be six cups per second. So we could say that the cups would be equal to six T. So six for each second is equal to the amount of cups. And we could we could explain that out. We could say where T represents time. Let's specify in seconds. And C represents the number of cups being stacked. 